Imagine a world where success isn't some far-fetched idea, but a tangible reality within your grasp. Now, let's uncover exactly what you can do to edge closer to that world. Sure, there are certain elements like IQ that seem set in stone, but let's shift our focus to the elements we can absolutely refine and enhance. When staring down the barrel of IQ, it's like slamming against a brick wall, right? You've seen brain training apps proliferate, claiming to be your cognitive fairy godmother. Yet no magic happens. Your brain sharpens its skills within the narrow confines of those games, but when it comes to wider intellectual pastures, the gains are as good as smoke. Are we doomed to watch our fluid IQ plummet after 20? Not quite. The rescue comes with a familiar hero of good old physical health. That's right, flexing your muscles through weights or getting the heart pumping could be your best bet in securing that IQ fortress. So hit the gym, grab those runners, it's not just a matter of building biceps, but fortifying brain power too. Now, let's pivot to a heavyweight champion in the arena of lifetime success conscientiousness. Within its powerful grip lies two contenders, orderliness and industriousness. And if we're betting on winning streaks, industriousness takes the gold. But here's the conundrum industriousness brings along a genetic tag team partner, making it a challenging opponent to reinvent. Don't throw in the towel yet, though. There's a strategy for you honing micro habits, and these stem from setting yourself meaningful goals. You see, motivation is like kindling for the blazing fire of endeavor. It could be extrinsic or intrinsic, derived from your social circles or from the drive to conquer. By laying out what you sincerely desire across dimensions like relationships, career, and personal growth, you lay the groundwork for a purposeful life. Imagine your life three to five years down the road, what does it look like? Envision it, then break it down into micro goals that act like breadcrumbs leading you to the grand prize. But why do something, anyway? Why not just sink into the couch in blissful inaction? Because you've identified that there's something significant at the end of the tunnel that can make the grueling journey worth it. And how you spend your free time. That's the canvas for painting a life you can't wait to step into every day. All right, let's drill down a bit, shall we? You've got your grand life canvas, now it's time for the day-to-day -day strokes of genius. Enter the mighty schedule. But hold on this isn't about imprisoning yourself in a timeline of shoulds and musts. This is about crafting a day that makes you feel like a champion. A day where there's a harmonious dance between duty and delight. Here's the deal. Make a pact with yourself that the end of each day won't find you buried a little deeper in life's quicksand. Yeah, life asks of us some heavy lifting, responsibility-wise. But who says rewards can't be part of the equation? Negotiate with yourself, find the balance that whets your appetite for both productivity and pleasure. And stick to that schedule loosely, though. Perfection is a myth aimed for improvement, even if it's fractionally incremental. This approach can be your lighthouse, guiding you through conscientious waters. But remember, you are not a robot approach yourself with compassion and strive for a life that makes sense to you. A life that when you look back at the end of each day, you'll say, today was a day well spent. Now, let's get real for a moment. If you're treating yourself like some dictator's pawn, you're not going to get anywhere. You must engage in earnest dialogue with yourself. Establish goals that make you jump out of bed each morning with fire in your belly. Avoid the totalitarian regime of self-discipline that leads nowhere but procrastination junction. Instead. Strive for that sweet spot a mix of structured goal chasing and the breathing room for spontaneity. Consider this every wasted hour is a pile of cash you're setting ablaze. So, what's your time's dollar value? Don't shortchange yourself. Whether it's $30, $50, or $100 an hour, every tick of the clock should be invested in a future that multiplies in value. Acting otherwise robs you, bit by bit, of potential wealth not just in your wallet, but in the richness of life. Remember, friends, every decision, every hour, shapes the edifice of your future. Whether you choose aimless wandering or a path strewn with intentional, purpose-driven actions, 
the future constructs itself from the bricks of the present. And keep this in mind subscribing, liking, and hitting the notification bell could very well be the actions that align with the growth and success we talk about. After immersing yourself in this content, ask yourself which strategies are you going to incorporate into your life? In closing, if what we've explored today resonates with you, I encourage you to value this enlightenment as much as you would a mentor's wisdom. If you feel inclined, you can express your gratitude, the link is in the description. Remember, carving out success is not about monumental leaps every day, but the consistent, purposeful strides that mold the strongest version of you. Gentlemen, imagine seizing the day without an ounce of worry about others' opinions holding you back. Imagine the freedom, the pure, unfiltered success that could be yours when you break free from society's judgmental gaze. Today, I've brought in someone who's a maestro in this very transformation. His insightful perspectives and electric delivery are set to energize our discussion. Stick around, and you may just uncover the key to this liberating mindset. Concerned about external opinions? It's no surprise. Our genetic makeup is years behind our rapid, modern society. Once, a tarnished reputation could lead to an angry mob on your heels. That deep-seated need for approval? It's embedded in us all. The trick is not to lament this instinct but to manage it effectively and it's simpler than you may think. Every second spent in angst over others' views is time you could be improving yourself becoming that compelling, magnetic individual others naturally gravitate toward. Have you noticed? Those who seem least concerned with approval often bask in it. That cocky, nonchalant demeanor eats gold. Pleasers, craving acceptance, often miss the mark. Their neediness is a repellent. So, why not embrace what works? Forget others' validation and seek your own. If you fancy yourself likable and want others to share the sentiment, emulate those you admire. Pick up their traits, learn their skills. Enroll in an improv class, study comedians, hone a joke until it becomes second nature. Use your humor not to seek applause but because it tickles you, and that's when you'll start drawing people in. Overthinking is our Achilles heel. It bogs us down. Embrace meditation, it clears the mind. Approach social scenarios with presence be there, genuinely there. Lost in your thoughts, trying to predict the future, you'll miss out on the now. Our minds are like untamed horses let meditation be your reins. When your mind is still, you become irresistible, fully engaged with those around you. People notice, and they will remember you for being present, not for hiding behind a device or lurking in a shadowed corner. Curious about further improvements? How do you carry yourself? Your posture speaks volumes before you even utter a word. Confidence is seen in the openness of your stance, your fearless space occupation, the expressiveness of your hands. Cultivate a style that mirrors your personality, and don't be timid about a friendly touch or a robust handshake. Remember, it's less about getting others to approve of you and more about self-assurance. When you flip the script from seeking validation to projecting the image you want, you gain power. It's a hard pill to swallow, but everyone won't like you and that's a good thing. Why exhaust yourself winning over detractors when there are people out there who'll click with the authentic you? Don't trade your energy for feigned friendships. I'll leave you with this. Connect with those who matter, shed your concerns, and dance in the reign of life's unpredictability. Worrying about others' judgments? It's as futile as shouting at the sky to stop the rain. Instead, embrace the flow of life, recognizing that control is often an illusion. Thank you for watching, and if today's insights resonated with you, remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more empowering content. Taking a step to support this channel is taking a step toward mastering your own mind and destiny. Keep engaging, keep learning, and don't forget, if you found value in our conversation today, feel free to show your appreciation. Until next time, stay strong and unfazed by the whispers of the world.